Nick Vogt grew up in rural Ohio and knew from a young age he wanted to serve in the military. In 2006, he was accepted into the United States Military Academy at West Point. It made me the best officer that I personally could have been, being thrown into a leadership role and learning both strategically and then even more importantly, you're trying to learn the individuals that you're leading. During his deployment to Afghanistan in 2011, Nick served as a platoon leader. Almost immediately after arriving on base, he and his team were given orders to move to a new location, known to be a hotspot. That's, that's where things got uh, more dangerous for our unit, a lot more IEDs, and a lot, of, a lot of tough terrain that you could only do on foot. Nick and his team were on foot patrol when they discovered a weapons cache. While investigating, Nick stepped on an improvised explosive device. I've been told that I was briefly conscious after the blast. I had to be resuscitated multiple, multiple times and so many of the people in my platoon or with my platoon at that time did exactly what they needed to do to keep me alive. Nick was transported to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center for a series of extensive surgeries. Both of his legs were amputated at the hip and he suffered traumatic brain injury. My recovery was very gradual. I still have difficulty remembering things. I would keep waking up and having to re realize, wait, why don't I have legs? <laughs> so it's this constant cycle of falling asleep, waking up, having to get re-explained things. His recovery was extremely difficult and full of complications. A turning point came in June 2013 when Nick first met Lauren, his new nurse at Walter Reed. And that was my future wife, Lauren. Yep, I'm glad I got that nurse. As you know, someone who had to see kind of people at their worst, Nick's positivity and his humility and just his genuineness was something that was very refreshing. We really hit it off. And uh, shortly before I finished my time in there, I thought, okay, I'm going to ask her out. And I did, and she, she accepted. We started dating after he left the hospital, and then about a year later, we got engaged um, right across the street from where we live now. <laughs> Nick and Lauren were married in September 2015, and then welcomed their first baby into the world, Nathan, two years later. They knew they needed to find a home that would accommodate Nick's injuries and their growing family. We have been living in houses in the meantime for so long. It's a temporary house, temporary apartment, temporary this, temporary that. Where we're living now, there's carpet on the floor, and so it really slows him down as how quickly he can get around. If I'm going down the hallway and someone else is coming down it, I can't rotate in a normal house. Nick and Lauren found out about the Gary Sinise Foundation's RISE program while at Sky Bowl, a military fundraising event put on by American Airlines in Dallas that supports wounded veterans and their families. Soon after the event, they applied for a specially adapted smart home through the RISE program, and I was honored to personally make the call to tell them they'd been selected. Uh, we were all ecstatic when we heard that. We were so happy. The Gary Sinise Foundation, with the support of independent community donations, began construction on the boat's specially adapted custom smart home in Crestline, Ohio. Just seeing the transformation is like unreal, and they did a beautiful, just a really beautiful job. We knew that it was going to be great, but in spite of knowing that, we were still shocked by a lot of things that we didn't see coming. It looks way better than I could have done. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> Awesome. Oh my goodness. So many little things that I've already noticed as soon as we came in the house that I'm thankful for. Nick went down down that hallway and did a 360 and he was like, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> the doorways, when I'm going through a door, I don't have to pull my hands out of the way for fear that they're getting pinched in between my wheelchair and the, the doorway. I don't think he's given Nathan a bath since he was like two months old, but now he can get right into Nathan's bathroom and he can get down there on the floor and you know, help him out and I think that's going to be awesome. I can feel like I'm contributing more to my family, fam or contributing as a husband 
and as a father. Nathan seems to really take to it already. He was playing around in his room earlier and just seems so happy. He's been loving the whole place, just sprinting everywhere. Some of my favorite features are almost all in the kitchen <laughs> because that's where I like to spend a lot of my time. This is forever home. I mean, that's not just a phrase. This is going to be ours forever. And we are so thankful. Today, Nick works as a freelance web developer. He, Lauren, and Nathan are enjoying their new home and look forward to continuing to grow their family and deepen their roots in the community. At the Gary Sinise Foundation, we serve our nation by honoring our defenders, first responders, their families, and those in need. To learn more about the Gary Sinise Foundation and how you can support other veterans like Nick Vogt, visit GarySiniseFoundation.org.